Hey guys, welcome to the next YouTube video in this series called Fall Guys Tips and Tricks. It's brought to you by yours truly, Football Freak 215. Uh, if this is your first episode ever watching, I have done almost every single map. Well, I'm I'm working on it, right? We're about mm, probably like a third of the way, maybe half the way through. Uh, so far, or at least I'm attempting to put out at least half the maps right now. I will go through every single one eventually. It's taken me a little bit of time. There's just a lot going on. But anyway, that's not that's not your your druthers. That's my druthers. Today we're talking about dizzy heights. Let's get into it. All right, guys. This is dizzy heights. Uh, we're gonna take a full run first so that you guys can just see what's really happening Maybe you can pick up some tricks that I actually pull on this particular one um, The full run through will just be me talking about the overall course and what's going on with it And then we'll get into specifics as we run it back on each section of the course uh, First off on this area right here. I'm gonna take a I, I take a little bit of a detour to try and get a a wide perspective I'm trying to analyze what the best path is for the video because I'm not worried about qualifying uh, but but anyway, um, this is what I believe to be the fastest path if you if you think about it. Um, I don't really take the fastest path, but the two last sides are definitely the fastest. Um, and so I just run down that, that area. Now, for this ball roll area, you try not to get hit, obviously, going back and forth. Um, and there's a cool, the cool little jump there that I do to get on the side of the ball is something that I think is, is very God-tier-esque. Um, but anyway, moving forward into this side, you want to run on the right side uh, turntables here. They're faster, uh, and I'll get into a more specific reason on why they're faster. But they are faster to run through than the left side. Um, on this next part, you gotta jump over this little gap right here, which is always fun. And then I always try to make it toward the right side. Um, but I can also tell you that moving on the balls or watching the balls is very important. I take a very terrible path here going down the middle, uh, but it does get me qualified. So I'm okay with it. I would want to want you to run on one of the sides of that one, uh, if anything, but anyway, um, we will go through a more detailed description. If that didn't give you enough tips and tricks, if that was too fast, I completely understand. But anyway, let's run it back right quick and see what this map has to offer on each section. So like I said, when coming up to this area, uh, the first part right here, uh, I'm going to stop it when I jump off this little yellow pad right here. But anyway, I'm trying to analyze the fastest path um, for it or for the, uh, for the game, for the section of the map. Gee, Christmas, I don't know how to speak. Anyway, um, so... With jumping off this top here, it can kind of get an overview of the entire section. Um, and I, I think that this is the fastest path. If you take the left uh, left front, the, the front left, I don't know how to explain this, the interior left turntable where a lot of people are running right now, the fastest path that I can see um, is to take run up the run up that plate into the middle, into the left side that goes into the middle back to the left side. I should be highlighting a path here to give you a little bit of an indication exactly where I'm talking about and where I think it's most beneficial for you to be able to uh, to to run. Uh, that's if you wanted to do a god tier. That is by no means a requirement of this thing. Uh, the biggest thing that you want to do on this one is constantly run forward, running with the plates. Never, ever, 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 and I mean never, ever, 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 never, never, ever, ever fight the plate. Never, ever, ever, ever. Do you fight the plate? That means running against the way that the, the plate is turning, all right? So whatever turntable you're on, you want to run with it. And you just want to keep your bearings pushing forward. So as long as you are pushing forward, uh, you will get through this fast enough to be able to be in qualifying contention. And so with that, I'm just going to kind of run through. I don't take the fastest, fastest path, but I try to show where the fastest path is um, at running through this. Uh, so I take a little survey for the video. I'm trying to figure out exactly what the fast path is. But after looking at it, I want to say uh, that running on the left side through these plates that I am touching is more or less the fastest path uh, because the, the way the turntables turn, they actually get you forward. They give you forward pro, uh, promo, uh, propagation or, 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 or prom promotion. I don't know. Anyway, anyway um, you, uh, you get propelled forward. Uh, propulsion. They give you a forward propulsion. Oh, goodness gracious. I knew there was a word in there. Anyway, uh, coming out to this next area, the ball roll. There are a couple of different tiers of, of movement that I think are beneficial for everybody. Uh, you don't want to get hit by the ball. Getting hit by the ball um, 
uh, can slow you down a little bit. Uh, if you do happen to get hit by a ball, it is not the end of the world. Just keep running. Um, actually, take toward the end, if you actually take the ball to the face, as long as you're on the right or left side, as far as like you're trying to squeeze past the ball between the barricade and the ball, it, it has absolutely no detriment, really. It, it does slow you down just a little bit, but it doesn't really have any detriment compared to like taking a ball completely in the face that like rolls you down the map. Um, so, which doesn't really happen. But anyway. Um, there are a couple of techniques here that I think can be very beneficial. If you are a beginner, just try not to get hit. Just go in between each little padding area when the ball comes close to you uh, and then keep running um, as far as going down the, the side plank here, the, the, the entire section here. If you're a novice, I want you to try and keep your momentum. So I would say if, you, if you're getting trapped by a ball, try to go across and move into a second lane uh, to weave in and out of the balls um, to give you a little bit of an advantage. Uh, and if you're if you're a god tier player, if you want to try and get a god tier moment in your in your gameplay, I do a dive here. So if you look at the ball, there's a nice little triangle on both the left and right side that gives you a little bit extra room to be able to uh, go through the ball. Um, and so if you take a dive at either one of the left or right triangles. Um, you can actually squeeze through by laying down, having the ball roll on top of you, and then standing up and running. Um, and so there's a little bit of a god tier moment there uh, that allows you to be able to to move quickly through the area. And so you know that's just more or less the god tier approach or whatever. Uh, but anyway. Uh, when we get up to the top here, once we move up to the top of this area, um, there is a nice turntable section here, and I want to say that you want to go to the right. Um, not that I want to say. You should go to the right turntables here. So when you're when you're thinking about it on the ball rolls in the bottom, you want to try and meander your way. If you're on the left side, you want to try and meander your way to at least the center uh, position to come up here or the right side uh, ramp to actually come up here because it will actually give you an advantage later. Um, there's about half a turntable less on the right side than on the left side because of the way that they're spinning. Um, and we'll go through it here. So just jump to each one and jump across each one. If you fall down in this area, if you fall down, keep pressing forward. Uh, keep going forward to keep your momentum. Just dodge the big, the big panels. You can jump through the middle. Um, it's not too difficult. You just jump through the middle windows and are able to keep pressing forward. Um, just, just keep pressing forward, keep running forward, even if you fall down, but try to jump across the top. And if you jump across the top and come to this last one, everything converges on this last turntable. And if you're on the left side, you will have to go three fourths of the way around this turntable compared to when you're on the right side, you only have a quarter of this turntable that you have to actually go. So taking the right side is just a little bit faster not to say that it's you know extremely fast or anything but I will say that I have seen people on the left side go in front of me and by the time I go through the right side I'm either neck and neck or above them they are already on the platform and I am jumping to the first platform and I get ahead of them so I will say that the right side of the turntables is actually faster it gives you a little bit of a bump a little bit of a boost um, and then that's pretty much all I can give you for that section of the map. Coming up to this next section, there is a lip here. You must jump dive. Well, you don't have to jump dive. You could just jump, but I recommend a jump dive. There is a very long fall. So if you just click X and then square when you're in the top of the, of the thing, I'm not sure what it is on a uh, keyboard. I want to say it's like a space bar and then a, 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 I don't know. Control, maybe left control. I don't remember. But anyway, I, I haven't played on keyboard and mouse. But anyway, you want to do the jump and then the dive mechanic uh, to get across this gap to make sure that you get into the next area. Um, on these, you you I don't want you to fight too much on them. I want you to just run. If you just run straight on each one of the turning platforms, uh, run straight to the next one, even though it's carrying you to the left and carrying you to the right, I think it's most optimal to just run straight um, to the next area. 
uh, and then jump up on the platform. If you happen to get on the left side, if you happen to get on the right side of the blue platform, it doesn't really matter, but stay on that wall. Hug that wall because those yellow balls will come down. Now, on my gameplay here, I run down the middle, which is very stupid, but that, that wolf decides to take the ball to the face and lets me run around and be able to get in uh, for the qualification. So I would recommend you stay on the left or right sides. Just hug that yellow wall as much as possible when running up that last ramp um, because it would just be the easiest for you. Um, but anyway... That kind of gives you, gives you a rundown of the entire map, gives you an idea of what is to be expected on this one. So I'm going to say that that, that wraps her up. That wraps her up for this map. Um, if you guys want any tips or tricks, I stream every single day uh, on Twitch. I don't necessarily play this all the time, but I am more than willing to talk to you about it uh, slash set up a time to be able to play with you uh, if you need coaching or tips or any of that sort of stuff on how to win at Fall Guys. I have 115 wins right now. Um, at their time of this recording. So, you know, cool. Awesome. I know it's kind of a flex, but at the same time, I'm trying to give credibility to what I'm doing here. But anyway, um, so like I said, Twitch, come by, say hi, stream every single night. Uh, other than that, if you made it this far of the video, part of the video, please think about leaving a like, hitting a subscribe, all that sort of stuff. Got to throw this little mantra out there. Appreciate y'all watching this entire thing. Enjoy your freaking day. I will catch you guys in the next video. Sayonara, toodaloo, adios, goodbye.